guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. Today I'm going to be filming my November favourites, and because we're now in December, Christmas t-shirts come out and I'm an elf. I'm very excited about Christmas now, and it's Vlogmas, which is just amazing. So today I'm going to be talking about my favourite things of November and as always I have my favourite, my same categories that I always have so let's get started. So the first things I want to talk about are my favourite YouTubers. Now these are not booktubers, these are other YouTubers and I watch probably like an even split between booktube and non um, and I have three this month um, YouTubers who I've really really been loving. The first one is one I've definitely mentioned before and I'm kind of not even sorry about that. Um, I figure at the end of every month I want to tell you about people I'm loving and if I'm still loving the same people I'm quite happy to talk about the same people. So my favourite um, YouTuber of the month has been Eve Bennett. Now Eve is in her first year at Oxford and she I think is in like her sixth week or something and it's starting to get really tough and watching her videos, like firstly the fact that she's putting out a vlog every single week when she's like getting into the like groove of Oxford and she's studying and everything I think is amazing I think she's such an incredible woman and I really do feel for her sometimes I watch her videos and it just makes me feel so like one with her because I totally remember feeling like that when I was at uni um fun fact I nearly quit uni after my first year I didn't even get through the, to the end of it in fact I think it was like January time and it was actually AJ my boyfriend that talked me out of it and I'm really glad he did and maybe that's one of the reasons why we ended up getting together in the end but yeah I definitely struggled in uni and so watching her videos just really helps me with that and I just love watching her and kind of hearing what she has to say because I think it's just fascinating so yeah she's definitely my first favourite. My second one is SJ Strum who is a mummy vlogger and the baby name guru of YouTube. Now you may all know that I've done two videos with my boyfriend where we talked about baby boy and girl names that we loved but won't be using, not that I'm pregnant but just that I love names and um, also sometime this month I will be doing SJ's baby name tag, that will be one of my vlogmas videos um, which she created and actually it's made me find a lot more channels because I've been watching the baby name tag that everyone's been doing and I just think SJ is beautiful and her voice is very very calming, she does baby name Monday so every Monday she has a new baby name list, um, it might be nature names, vintage names, popular names, like any. it literally could be anything um, and I love watching them, I think she's so amazing and she has three, three children, she has two little boys called Freddie and Finn and a little girl named Evelina Blossom which I think is the cutest little thing and yeah I just love her channel, she doesn't just do baby name videos, she also does mummy vlogs and um, other little bits and pieces and I just have been loving her channel so I really wanted to shout her out and then the final one I don't think is uploaded on anymore but I love this person anyway. So basically, um, you may all know um, of Louise Pentland, who used to be um, on the channel Sprinkle of Glitter. Now, she changed her channel name to Louise Pentland because she wanted to do, sort of change her content a little bit. But she also used to have a vlog channel called Sprinkle of Chatter. And that's the channel I've been watching a lot recently. Um, I've been re-watching a lot of old vlogs because I just love watching vlogs. and watching old ones where I remember them and sort of that kind of thing is really cool. And she also did a lot of live shows back then when she would do like a makeup and talk about stuff and I just love to listen to her talk so I've been loving her channel in itself but Sprinkle of Chatter has definitely been one of my favourites. So then on to my favourite movie of the month and I've watched a couple this month but I think my favourite has to be a rewatch, and that is that is the first Lord of the Rings film Fellowship of the Ring. Now I have actually read the first two Lord of the Rings books um, over I think it was last year and then this year and I liked the first one more than I liked the second which actually turns out is generally the same for the films not that I've watched the second film in ages but um, my boyfriend and I um, watched the first one because it's now on Netflix the um, Lord of the Rings movies are on Netflix so we decided to sit and watch the movies we've only watched the first one at the moment but I think we probably will watch the other two at some point but yeah I just love it if you don't know what the Lord of the Rings is by the way it's basically a band of dwarves, elves, hobbits, humans, there's a group of, big group of them that basically go with Frodo who is a hobbit to Mordor to basically destroy a ring that has been left in his keeping which essentially is like it has 
like ties to the dark side basically i'm really explaining it badly you'd have to watch it but it's really high fantasy it's really really interesting it has a great like it, it looks amazing it's one of those films that just looks incredible and um yes definitely worth the watch um i think and as i said it was my favorite film that i watched this month next up i have my favorite music of the month normally i don't really listen to any um, up-to-date songs I'm really a throwback kind of person however there are two songs this month that are up-to-date and I love them and I really wanted to talk about them the first is by my favorite artist ever and people always go like have problems with her or think that she's like rubbish and stuff and I don't really care because I think she's amazing and incredible and I love her and that is Cheryl and it is her new song love made me do it and i adore it i've listened to this song on repeat since it came out i thought also her performance on the x factor was great i know a lot of people were like oh she was singing out of tune and i was thinking to myself she's dancing like intensely in this video like it's not a surprise that she's like a little i think there was only one note where i was like oh that was probably a little bit out of tune but to be fair she was doing such like intense dancing i would be too so i think she's amazing and i love that song the second one is Woman Like Me by Little Mix. Now I haven't listened to their new album yet and I need to but I've listened to that song and generally I just think Little Mix are amazing and their video for Woman Like Me is absolutely perfect. It's obviously uh, featuring Nicki Minaj who is one of my favourites, but she's a guilty pleasure I think. Um, but I just think that song was amazing and the video just was so much like girl power which is what Little Mix stand for and yeah I adore them. And then the third song that I wanted to talk about is Troublemaker by Olly Murs which is a bit of a throwback song. I actually went to see Olly Murs in the O2 like seven years ago and at the time I wasn't a big fan but my friend had a ticket because um, her friend had let her down so she had a spare ticket to go and I was like yeah okay I'll come along like I wasn't that bothered really and then I went and he is the best showman honestly he's amazing and Troublemaker is one of those songs that I've always really liked but just comes back to me every now and then and yeah loved it. So my favourite book of the month um, obviously I will talk about more in my wrap up which will be coming on Friday I believe uh, so check out that one when it does come out but my favourite book is Educated by Tara Westover. Now I've been doing Nonfiction November which by the way is definitely one of my favourites. I loved it. I think I read all but one book was non-fiction and that was only because I finished up a different book as well. Um, but yeah I loved Nonfiction November and I read Educated by Tara Westover which was also part of the Borrowathon which I took part in which was amazing and um, I read it for the prompt reader book that came out in 2018 I believe and Educated is a book that I wasn't really sure what I was going to get when I started reading it but oh my goodness me did it impress me and just make me feel everything basically Tara Westover has written a memoir she, it's about her life and her dad is an end of days um which is, I don't know what the term is but basically he is always preparing for the end of the end of days like he has an underground bunker he has um just everything they have like stacks of stuff like stored and he is also can be quite a difficult man to live with he has very specific views and he doesn't really um none of the children had birth certificates he's very much against the government none of the kids were registered so um obviously it's difficult for them to have like um schooling and things they never went to school they were all homeschooled and then one of Tara's elder brothers was also very violent towards her, um, very violent, in fact that was very difficult to read about, but basically Tara decided that she wanted to be educated and so she goes about doing that. She struggles with the kind of reaction between living her life with her family and being educated and if she can have those two things at the same time and this was one of those books that just made me think after reading it it's a big book but it did not take me very long to read because I was just hooked I was so interested in it and it did make me cry a little bit towards the end because I just thought this girl's been through so much and yet she's still an incredible human being and she went to Cambridge and um, she went to Harvard, I just, she's amazing honestly and if you haven't read this book I implore you to do so because 
it was such a good read. So then I want to talk about my three favourite YouTube videos of the month. So the first two are actually tag videos but I just love listening to people's different takes on certain tags and the first one I wanted to talk about is the no disclaimers tag and that was by um, Books with Emily Fox. Now Books with Emily Fox is also one of my favourite channels in general but she is one of those YouTubers that you know will say what she really thinks, she won't hold back, she's quite honest and she's not um, a YouTuber who stereotypically reads lots of YA so not that she has a problem with it and she wouldn't ever be like negative to someone that did but it's really interesting to hear somebody who has different views and different opinions and I just think the way that she did the no disclaimers tag was amazing because she really told her point of view without being aggressive or rude or anything to anybody else and I think that was so good I really really enjoyed it and um, yeah definitely one to check out then I watched the end of the year book tag by Mary from with cinnamon please and again Mary is one of my favorite channels I absolutely love her she's really really close to 400 subscribers so if you haven't already checked out her channel which I'll be linking down below go and check her out because she deserves all the subscribers and more um, but basically she did the end of the year book tag and I loved it I really like watching the end of the year book tags because I find them really therapeutic to watch in the whole like oh this is what I still need to do and this is what I've already done and I loved it honestly and Mary is amazing she is such a calming and warming influence and I love watching her videos so yeah definitely go and check her out and then the last one is actually also a tag video and that was the creator town book tag by Nicole from um a beautiful chaos of books who's one of my favorite all-time youtubers in fact she did a video recently where she shouted me out and can i just say i love you nicole i think you're amazing and i i, I have too many things that i would say if i like I, I can't even i can't put them into words because i think she's amazing i love her so so much i think her channel is incredible i loved the creator town video because she basically just said everyone was from harry potter and as soon as she started talking i was like fred and george would fit that hagrid would fit that and she said it and i was like we are literally i love her honestly if you haven't checked out her channel already she's got over a thousand subscribers now so you probably have if you watch my videos you probably have definitely seen hers but if you haven't go and check her out and tell her I sent you. Next up is my favourite TV show and I mean my boyfriend recently got Amazon Prime and because I never realised they started doing a monthly service. I, they always used to do it, you had to pay for the whole year in one, in one go and I was like I can't afford £70 in one go but now they do a monthly service just like Netflix do and so I have both of them now because why not? Um, and because of that we started watching I'd actually watched the first season of this uh, when I was at uni when I had like the student Amazon Prime and um, I've always wanted to continue watching it but it's not on anything else so me and my boyfriend started watching The Walking Dead and although by the way if you don't like gore don't watch The Walking Dead it's the most gory most like bloody like thing ever but I absolutely love it it basically is about zombies <laughs> It's about a group of people trying to survive a zombie apocalypse essentially and I just love it. We're on to season two now. I think we're a couple like maybe three or four episodes in but we watched the whole of season one in um, the month of November and then we started season two and oh my goodness me like I said it's amazing. We really love it and it's really nice to sit and watch a series with AJ and um, my boyfriend because he doesn't really like series. He's not really a series person. I'm slowly converting him. We're watching quite a few different series at the minute but it's not one that we could watch like all the time he has it has to be spaced out otherwise he gets bored and so watching the walking dead is the one thing where it's like it's consistently that we're watching it so i think it's great and so does he and then i wanted to talk about my three booktubers of the month now this is really hard because i have so many so i wanted to talk about three that i've watched the most probably at the moment and yeah i wanted to talk about them and shout them out so the first one is cody from cody's book corner and cody is so amazing she basically posted something on twitter the other day um maybe like actually it might have been even a little it was probably a while ago actually saying that was only the other day it was probably a couple of weeks now but basically she posted something saying that she hadn't found her squad on booktube and she was sad about that and had anybody else had the same experience and i was like a hundred percent i know what you mean it's really difficult seeing everybody else have like all these amazing friendships and like great connections on booktube and not having them yourself and she basically set up a um like private message kind of group on um twitter where now there's like 50 of us and we all talk and it's amazing it's so good to like chat away to people and i loved it so it's just been amazing and um 
I'm sorry if the lighting is changing. It's the afternoon and it's like the sun is going in as I'm talking. So it's probably getting darker and darker and darker. I don't even know if you can see me anymore. I hope you can. Just follow my voice. <laughs> I was trying to be a Harry Potter reference, but it wasn't even the right one. So yeah, Cody, I love her vlogs. She has the best vlogs. And do you know there's something about her voice that just makes me want to keep watching? And I recently watched, she reads so much in her vlogs. Like honestly, I watched her latest vlog and she was just what, like reading books. She was like, I've read this book. And I was like, you literally read that in a day and it's like 200 pages, 300 pages, like mad. And I love her channel. I really, really am loving watching her videos. Next up is Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. I love Sam's videos. Again, she's one of those people that's kind of like sarcastic, but not rude. And I love that. I think that's the best way to be. Like, I think her, she just really, I get her personality and I love it. Wow, it's really, really dark. Sorry, guys. But yeah, basically, I love her channel. She's really funny. She's very witty. She always makes the best videos because they're always so like interesting and like things that I'd never thought about before. And yeah, I love her. And then the final one is Hayley from Hayley in Bookland. Now Hayley has a channel that I just adore watching. She recently finished writing a book and like was talking about that on there. She was doing NaNoWriMo, which I love to hear about. And she's kind of like a writer tube too because she really does do like write, writing and reading vlogs, which I love. And um, yeah, I just think her channel is amazing too. So there you have it guys. That is all the things that I've loved in November. Thank you so, so much for your support. I've gained so many subscribers in the month of November um, to the point where now I'm over 300. So if you haven't already checked out my giveaway, which um, is running until the beginning of January, go check out the link below and ask me a question and you can enter my giveaway. So I hope you really enjoy that. And um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and come back tomorrow at 5 p.m. for another Vlogmas video. Bye guys. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish